Why not? Hi. <laughs> oh, those are such cute sneezes. I'm ready. All right. So overall reaction. What was your overall reaction to this ex large, very large three month long experiment? Um, overall impression reaction was that what it was yep um yeah so i was i was very happy um i i said i wrote a note i said when i when i disconnect a little bit from the results the internal tension about about over the results i was very happy with the process itself um i was very proud of us we had we really had a lot um that we were trying to accomplish um i, I wrote we were we were priming a lot of pumps uh mm -hmm. we we're starting social media we we're um trying to all of a sudden have this very frequent email series about the most difficult subject in christendom uh <laughs> the most difficult call to action uh yeah, and, and trying to do it in a way that was engaging. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I was very happy with with everything that we did. Um, yeah, that's and awesome. If you, and if you had to choose, and I know there's probably a whole bunch, what's one of your favorite parts that comes to mind when you think of this whole thing? It was a lot of like the behind the scenes stuff that was going on with us, um, with the various members of our team, especially like watching people sort through conflict and heavy emotions um stuff like that that was that was my favorite part yeah so tell me more about the conflict and, and heavy emotions i'm not I'm not sure if i remember which which ones just but like you're saying that's your favorite part yeah you know, yeah because i i like uh how we function so mm -hmm. uh, one of them was <clears throat> when when John was, when we used the word broke in the video and that bothered him and we had to work that out and we had meetings, but we were trying to honor, honor like what was going on inside of him. So there's all kinds of relational uh, <laughs> programs that we activated. All right, pull the lever, we got to do this. And so it's really cool to watch because we, we have these reliable rhythms that we go to um and so yeah it's just beautiful to watch um with that and even like hillary you and i and kareen when when i was like or, it's july 9th, or june 9th and you're like what <laughs> and uh and then so we, we had to sort that out and work through okay how does this do? and but yeah with all these different things there's like there's a lot of emotions and opinions involved and and uh but yeah, I, I always felt really happy and excited when we would work through those things. It's like, those are our distinctives, I think, what, that we bring to the world. And so, yeah, it's just, I loved it. That's my favorite part. Thank you. Um, do you have a least favorite part of this uh, massive experiment? Or one that comes up that's kind of like, oh, I might need some counseling on that. That's still a little sticky for me. <laughs> um, uh, that's tough. Um, there, there is one, which is, I don't know if it's part of this process organizationally, but. On a completely different note, funner question if you can get there <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine what do you I'm not think, like yes okay what do you think that you did specifically that really enhanced this experience and it could be multiple things it could be like one or two things um but where were you like this is it like oh yeah. I nailed yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> um I was really I really thought I enhanced the I was happy with the strategy mm -hmm. yeah I was happy with the strategy and I was also generally happy with 
when I was writing copy. Mm. Um, I, I'm of the like data-driven scientific side of copywriting, so it doesn't matter how I felt about it. It matters what happened. <laughs> but yeah. I was happy. I was I was happy with with how the subject lines were written. Um, as far as my own role and the the collaborative piece. So like if I wrote a subject line and then you're like, why is that like that? I'm like, oh, well, how about this? And then, so like, that was cool too. Because a lot of times copywriting, like that direct response kind of copywriting is very like individual driven. It's like, I'm the copywriter, raw. Uh, so having, having now experienced a collaborative um, version of it was really cool um and life-giving uh to do that so yeah yeah I, I think just doing the like being involved in the strategy and and the right and the copywriting so so imp implementing it okay. was very good um, and this and, is a similar oh sorry uh, that's kind of it yeah. this is a similar question and i didn't write this down before um but where did you feel yourself come alive the most Um, you realize that you were in flow and it might it might be when you were doing strategic strategery and copy um but where yeah. where were you like oh this is it I, I think that was it yeah um particularly when someone would ask me something and then do what I suggested that's still confusing to me <laughs> <laughs> that that people take what you say to do and do it I'm like oh we're just like that all right <laughs> do you remember any one specific moment not really it's just like that's very um uh, it just makes me feel good uh to yeah. be like because i i feel a general confidence in some of these areas um so being able to do it on on paper or on in an email is one thing and then to have you know i'm just like oh i suggest we do this and then just they, we just do it I'm like <laughs> I guess it's like, it's very uh, validating mm. for me. Um, and and, it's not, and the team dynamic is nice. So it's like, I, I have a specific role that is valued. That's great. And um, what would you say was the, for you, one of the most important parts of this experiment? For you personally, not looking at the experiment, but you. Um, I, real quick, I, I do have an old example. This is actually pre-67, but it's, a, it's an example from we were in Discord and I, I said, what if we did this? And I, and I typed out like a general email. I think it was an email or something. And, but I was like throwing it out there as like assuming someone would push back and be like, let's do it this other way. And then Tony wrote, I think she took it and just like pasted it or and whatever and we were about to send it and I was like no I didn't these dates aren't right and this number is not right and she was like that's what you put and I said I didn't know you were gonna just do it <laughs> and she was like we trust you on the team just, just. <laughs> it's done done great great email let's send it <laughs> yeah I was like I put the f word in there you can't just <laughs> it's like what I thought you I thought there was a reason for that Anyway, so that was an example. That was older. That was pre-67. So fun. Thank Next you. Next question. I forgot. Um, for you personally, what would you say throughout this whole experiment was most important um, to you? Either as um, you know, someone creating it during the experience or your own personal life throughout this. What was the most important? Um, I think what I said about getting more of the practical validated experience in a lot of these like email, like writing emails and subject line writing, um, and then doing it so much and so frequently, that was really important for me personally. Um, and then I'd also say the frequent uh and sort of high higher pressure work that we did together mm -hmm. uh, that felt important too like like we were solidifying a lot of rhythms really fast 
yeah. um, oh. and get, getting into a collaborative flow and be, because it was so much and so frequent and because of the deadline and a little bit of higher pressure not not void of joy but just like a pressurized environment I think that was very important too oh. for us thank you all right two more questions um, what, if anything, bumped you out? And it could, it could be your least favorite part, or it could just be something else where you were just like, ah, just bumped out of the experiment. Um, uh, my least favorite part was probably the, the main thing. Yeah. But le leading up to it, um, I think the the initial um, technical difficulties we had those first few or I had those first few weeks mm -hmm. yeah I've got caused it. an unnecessary amount of constant time pressure yeah uh, and it was uh, so it, it wasn't overwhelming but it was like it was annoying that that happened um, yeah, so I, that was like, so it, it caused this like rhythm of, of script writing, like kind of like lower pressure and then like, a, like a day or two of like, ah! <laughs> and then, and then relax for a second and then script writing and, and then, ah! so that was, um, yeah, that, that, that's how that was. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And is there anything that you would do differently? Um, yeah, I was gonna keep going, but is there anything that you would do differently? <laughs> Knowing yeah, that we um, have our own metrics meeting and elements meeting and follow-up meeting, um, you. Um, so I thought I had this big list, but a lot of it is more like big picture things. Um, you know, leading into it, there's a lot that, like I said, we were trying to prime the pump up with a lot of things. Like even that first phase was like reset. So that was a way of us uh, cleansing the palate of our email recipients. Like we're gonna do fun stuff. And so I think part of that is bigger picture. It's like, all right, let's, let's think about, let's for the next year, let's be strategizing regular content, valuable content, um, increasing, engagement of emails and social media so that's so that's more like bigger that's beyond a few weeks work um i think the one thing was that the, the whole time that it, it was kind of quit like it's kind of compressed for how much we were trying to do um it it was it was a lot um i think after the proposal there was about a month that the word, like reflecting back, it's like, well, probably should have just been like proposal and then like the next day kind of working through <laughs> strategy and things. Mm -hmm. um, so I think maybe that would be a, something to do differently. I, I don't think I realized until we were in it, how tight it was. Yeah. So that was, and, and then and then doing the videos um, obviously adds, an element of extra work to, so yeah, definitely like being more cognizant of of time, of deadlines and, and time pressure. How, how much time things take. Yeah. 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 And this is, we're, we're at the end of your debrief question. Um, and maybe this is for another meeting, but I'm just dying to know. Um, What's your overall reaction to the video production process? Did you did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? And do you want to like what's a maybe you don't need to answer all of them, but we'll just go with the overall reaction. Yeah. Um I no, I liked it. Um the when when we first decided to do the videos, I was trying to set up um I was trying to set up a studio in the basement so I could have a dedicated place. But that became very complicated um and so that never happened so that was like that was an issue because then it then i had to like it was constantly scheduling Kristen had to get the kids out of here 
And so that, that created an issue with the process. But other than that, I enjoyed writing the script. I like the collaborative piece, kind of like storyboarding and getting feedback and modifying things, uh, having fun with it, making it silly. Uh, the product, even the production, like the, the more I did it, the more, the easier that process became, kind of like getting into stream, streamlining things a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I, I really enjoyed it. Um, having a studio of some kind would be much better. <laughs> like a controlled environment, lighting, video, like everything that would be, that, would, that changes, changes everything. But uh, yeah, it was great. I really enjoyed the video process. Thanks. So we, we are done with the questions and um, I'm wondering how you feel now and if you feel anything in your body anywhere. Um, no change. <laughs> I, feel, I feel happy. I feel um, very, I think just like, like a general, I don't know, like a tenderness, like a, in a, in a positive tenderness sense about this whole process and the team. Um, one thing I wanted to add was, was a, it was a shout out to Tony for <laughs> um, meeting with me because she was like, you know, keeping me on, keeping me on uh, kind of pace, keeping me on pace. And so that was, that was cool. Um, and like helping me to take squirrel, my squirrel brain or like you know draw draw that out a little bit and, and focus it so that was that was helpful um in, in the process I, I just thought of it because i think we've talked about a lot of the things and obviously we all were thrown in so much work but i don't think i specifically mentioned that yet so I wanted to say that. <laughs> great thank you um so can I mention something as you as y'all were as you were debriefing, I realized something that I want to just pull out onto the table. Um, uh, because it definitely affected this whole experiment. And I don't think we've been identifying it enough, but we actually did a fundraiser that was totally unexpected. Um, that was a huge success literally right before this one. And that was the Dennis fundraiser. Um, we had to activate that quickly. And instead of being able to jump on the 67 experiment, as soon as we wanted to, we literally had to run a fundraiser to employ Dennis. We raised $3,000 a month in monthly donations um, for two years, right? To cover wow. his salary, right? Which is 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 exact you know more actually a hundred dollars more i think than we raised or it's about the same as we raised during the 67 experiment so if if we just add that <laughs> to like the funding that we've brought in this year that's six thousand dollars a month more funding for loop 10 and for a budget that was only ten thousand dollars a month like we only we're we're only bringing in ten thousand dollars a month already. So sixty percent. We've increased Luke Ten's giving by sixty percent in two months. Uh, yeah, in five with well, you know April. Yeah, in two months. Um, and oh, I don't gosh. think I don't think we've given enough credit to that right um, at all. And Dennis helped because some of those are his funders, right? Some of them, but a lot of them are our people as well. So. Um, that, that just hasn't, I don't think, and you, you both leveraged a lot of time and energy into that page, getting that set up communications, emails that we sent out, things like that. And then me time, right. Lots of time with Dennis and lots of time with potential donors and such. So that was huge. Um, on top of a new fundraiser that we were trying to get off the ground for the first time ever. So, um, you know, I just want to make sure that that is in the history books <laughs> when we're debriefing this experiment because I think it definitely affects one the giving of this experiment because our people were already mobilized to give for Dennis and so 
that definitely could have affected yeah, we didn't even factor that in. Yeah, that could have yeah, that could have affected this for sure. The outcome, the financial outcome of this, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, as you were it also it also goes to show just our uh, not just flexibility, but our um, sensitivity to the spirit. Because like you, yeah. Yeah. fleeing yeah. Russia, like okay, well we don't have time for that right now. We're working on the <laughs> fundraiser, so you can stay in Turkestan. No, that's that's not us. Like, let's get you money. Let's get you funded. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So really, really amazing work, guys. Just want to say that and following the so, spread. And it's true. I um, and I think we had touched on it as when I when I proposed that first like reset week. Yeah. That was in mind, but I the, the Dennis thing and the conference, you know, people having to pay for a conference. But but I don't think, yeah, I don't think I had it quite acknowledged it as for what it was. Uh, it was more like like we've been bugging people. Yeah, well, and <laughs> we didn't know the results yet. We didn't really get the results of Dennis's fundraiser until the end of May, and you and I had already started meeting in, in April, right? So we'd already been meeting for six weeks before we found out. Oh. We have three thousand dollars a month now <laughs> for Dennis. <laughs> so, yeah, crazy. That's good. Thanks for pointing that out. That's yeah, that's encouraging. You. I um, yeah, because the one of the thoughts around how we were doing the process was how much, you know, everybody has a, a certain amount of capacity for being asked to give to things, and so we were trying to be cognizant of that. Um, so yeah, it's it's true. That was cool. But thanks for sharing. 